They don't know the answer. They just start talking about all kind of stuff and the energy in Alaska, you know, you betcha. You know what I'm saying? And that's what you did. You just kind of skirted around and made everybody go, oh my God, we love her. So congratulations. We'll be right back. Up next, as the competition draws to a close, one of the models makes the shocking decision to walk away from the chance of a $50,000 modeling contract. You quit for a man, and later. It's the finale of Modelville, which is our special Tyra Show reality show that features five of my favorite former top models, and they're living together and competing for a second chance at modeling success. Now, if you missed any of the Modelville episode, don't worry, because we've got plenty of drama for you in this episode right now, this finale. Now, the girls have worked really hard. They've played hard. Y'all have fought hard. Um, but the competition was winding down, and they struggled to deal with the stress. Check them out here. With the taping of the girls' commercials just days away, they're heading to Morimoto Restaurant to calm their nerves. Let's make a toast to the best food I think I've ever eaten. Renee's having a hard time relaxing. You gotta love, live life. I know, but like, I, I will be able to live life once I get this competition. When the girls return home to the apartment, they find an invitation from Shandy, who was on America's Next Top Models Cycle 2 inviting them to perform at an open mic night for the very next evening. So what are you guys gonna do? I'm gonna go like this. <laughs> That's really scary. We'll all be up there making fools of ourselves. I all of a sudden I feel just a tad nervous. I can't draw, I can't sing, I can't dance. Oh my god, this is horrible. <laughs> um. 24 hours later, the girls arrive at Piano. My name is Sherry. All right, we have some wonderful, wonderful performers for you tonight from uh, America's Next Top Model. Let's see, we have first. Fatima, Bianca, and Renee speak from their heart. When women stand together, where do you think we'll be? With passions unbridled and love for equality, we can make a difference for every human being. Dominique's honesty is surprising everyone. It hurts inside every time I try to fly, when all I get is, no thanks, nice try, goodbye. Because it's at that moment, that woman, ideally who I want to be, she means so much more to me than these words. It's my heart, my soul, and my dream. Thank you, Dominique. <laughs> Can you like <laughs> And Lauren's performance art is causing quite a splash. Anyone want to join me and smash something? <laughs> Does this involve getting dirty? Well, it could be. What if I don't want to be messy? You know? I think we all need to do this, right? Lauren, you look great. I'm not good with words, so, you know, this will have to do. But she had an eye for pop art. Well, there was no shortage of drama between the girls in the Modable House, but in Lauren's case, there was a drama within the drama going on the whole time. Check this out. John John, Lauren's boyfriend of three years, broke up with her months before Modelville began. It's been rough handling it. I mean, it's. It hurts because I still have feelings for him. As soon as Lauren moves into the Modelville house, John John began texting her. We've been texting back and forth. And I'm so nervous. I just, I just want to see your text messages, see who you've been talking to, that's all. John John, <laughs> is that what you call your <laughs> As time went on, John John's texts become more frequent. What is he saying? Really? Home back to like move back to his place. I mean, I, I'm place not there. sure, but I'm like shaking. Oh. 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 I don't want to be here right now. I want to go see you, and I want to work on things. And sure. The next day, with the girls' commercial just hours away. Lauren has some shocking news that can alter the outcome of the entire competition. 
I've decided that I'm gonna leave. It's a shock. <laughs> I mean, you guys, you're awesome and everything. I like it here, but like, we love you. Oh, but I just, <clears throat> I just don't. I don't want to make commercials. I don't want to be. On a commercial? Models can still be models and they don't have to be spokesmodels. You can pursue all kinds of modeling and never ever have to open your mouth. Ever. Is this about your your art? At Open Mic Night, that was your thing. You were passionate about it and into it and you touched all of us. Oh. See, I'm an artist, so I draw. I don't want to see you give up. I don't, I don't feel like I'm giving up. I respect anything you do, Lauren. Like, if you want to walk out, I want you to walk out because you truly want to walk out, you know? She knows what's best for her, you know? She's a big girl. With her mind made up, Lauren packs up her belongings. OK, thank you. And says goodbye. Bye. It just seems like she doesn't want to be here, which is fine. That's OK. It's better for me, less girls. <laughs> I'll miss you all. I love you all. Love, Lauren. Like, it does suck. I feel like I walked out, but I have to follow my heart. Bye, Lauren. Bye. <laughs> Lauren, you quit for a man? No, it wasn't just that. It wasn't like, just that? I, when I came onto the show, I, I thought it was going to be different. I didn't. I thought it was more about modeling and less about being a smokes model. I didn't even think about being a smokes model. And that's not really what I want to do. So I, you know, my heart wasn't in it. And I didn't think it was fair to the other girls because they obviously want it. And like, I don't feel like I'm quitting. It's just it's not for me. So why don't I let someone more deserving have it? Why does it make you emotional talking about it? I mean, because I don't like giving up and I wanted, like on the show, I did bad with my CoverGirl commercial and I wanted to prove myself wrong, but like commercials aren't obviously for me. So it was just hard to come to that conclusion. Well, let's meet John John. John John is here. Hi, John John. Hi. So, John John. I love your punk style. Oh, thanks. Very cool. Very, very cool. So, um, you broke up with Lauren a while ago. Yeah, well, you know, um, I'm like 16 years older than her. And you are? Yeah. You look so young. Thanks. Wow. <laughs> you know, so I, you know, I guess I was at a point in my life, you know, that I was looking to mate for life. And, you know, Lauren's young and, I, you know, I had my doubts. I was still confused. You know, sometimes you just lose your way. So I broke up with her. You broke up with her. Yeah. So you guys got back. Yeah. Well, I wish you guys success. And Lauren, I really do want you to continue to model. Mm -hmm. um, I, 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 I have to say, I think you have uh, walked away from the competition. So I don't think you're in the running anymore with these mm -hmm. other girls. I think now there's four girls on the quest to be, you know, the, this get this $50,000 and be a Carol's Daughter spokesperson. Mm -hmm. But you can still model, and I wish you success. And when the Thank going you. gets tough, I don't want you to give up. Because mm -hmm. it's not easy when your mouth is closed as a model. It's very difficult. It's still very difficult. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll be right back. Up next. Her hair is so soft. It's like I'm touching my own skin. Go ahead. Touch yourself. That was a little steamy. <laughs>